With the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC right around the corner, I thought to myself, why not make fun of you and your favorite track? So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what your favorite track says about you. If your favorite track is Mario Kart Stadium, honestly, there's nothing wrong with you. You're more than likely a very new player to the game. And I also like this map, but it's very basic and beginner friendly, so honestly, it's a hit or miss for me. But you're probably mid. If your favorite track is Water Park, honestly, you're probably one of the few people that actually enjoyed water levels from Sonic and Mario games. And you're a rare breed. But why the fuck do you enjoy water levels? If your favorite track is Sweet Sweet Canyon, let me say you'll probably miss Maple Tree Way from Mario Kart Wii. I don't know if it's just me, but I swear Sweet Sweet Canyon has the same exact layout, if not pretty damn close, to Maple Tree Way from Mario Kart Wii. Am I wrong? I don't know if I'm like the only one that feels this. If your favorite track is Thwomp Ruins, the only reason you're picking this is because you've already played through your other favorite tracks earlier in the game, and you're like, you know what? I wanna experiment and try something new. I genuinely don't see people going on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and their favorite track is Thwomp Ruins. If your favorite track is Mario Circuit, honestly, you are probably the coolest kid in the room. Look around, you are cooler than everyone right now. And if you're in a room alone, well, I mean, it speaks for itself. If your favorite track is Toad Harbor, more than likely you have always had to play Toad in any of the Mario series, whether that's Mario Party or any of like the actual Super Mario Bros. games. And honestly, it's okay. Can't be me though. You will never catch me playing Toad. If your favorite track is Twisted Mansion, there is something twisted with you. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. You probably miss Luigi's Mansion and so do I. The first one hit different. If your favorite track is Shy Guy Falls, honestly, you just love seeing all the little Shy Guys work hard for minimum wage and I, I, wait, do they even get paid for mining all of that shit? Wait a minute. If your favorite track is Sunshine Airport, I sh shake my hand right now. You are an absolute legend. You love Super Mario Sunshine. You love everything that has to do with it. This is not a mid track. If your favorite track is Dolphin Shoals, you are the person in all of the friend groups that is honestly the funniest, but you low key are like, you know what? I don't want to be the funny guy. I want to be serious because Dolphin Shoals is kind of like that. You have fun in the first half of the track, but then once you reach the eel, it, it, it's just it's just horrible. There is no way Electrodome is your favorite Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track out of all of them. Out of all of them. You're mid. If your favorite track is Mount Wario, honestly, you're probably a risk taker in life. And not the good kind. You put people in really stupid situations. People are trying to race here. We are not trying to go down a deadly mountain. If your favorite track is Cloud Top Cruise, honestly, you are a hidden gem waiting to be shown to the world. This track right here is super underrated. And probably so are you. So keep your head up. If your favorite track is Bone Dry Ruins, more than likely you just got done watching Death Note and you are now Light Yagami. You have a very nice demeanor in person, but behind the scenes you are just a villain. If your favorite track is Bowser's Castle, more than likely you are the nicest person ever. I'm not even kidding. Despite you choosing one of the scariest looking maps on all of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you are the nicest person ever. If your favorite track is Rainbow Road, and not even the one from the SNES or the N64 one, literally just Rainbow Road, get out. You just like to see people suffer, even yourself. Like, who benefits from this? If your favorite track is Yoshi's Circuit, honestly, you're kind of a side character. It's not a bad thing, you're like the cool side character that gives the main person a power up, but after that, like, nobody really remembers you. So yeah, take that as you will. If your favorite track is Excite Bike Arena, let's just admit it, let's just admit it right away. You love Baby Park. This is just an adult version of Baby Park. Admit it. You cannot hide from your imperfections. There are two types of people that genuinely enjoy Dragon Driftway. The first one, you like to have fun. You don't play this on 200cc because you're a casual Mario Kart 8 Deluxe gamer, and that's totally fine. This track is definitely meant to be 150cc and that's it. But if you like this track and you play it on 200cc, you're just a different breed. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of afraid. If your favorite track is Mute City, honestly, you just missed F-Zero. Like, you miss it a lot. 
and I don't because I don't really remember any of the games. But Captain Falcon's pretty cool though. Hello? Falcon. Oh, oh my god! If your favorite track is Baby Park, honestly, you are misunderstood and you are probably a very good person. Baby Park brings back the RNG which made Mario Kart 8 fun. The tracks are awesome, but the RNG factor in this just ruins friendships and I love it. If your favorite track is Cheeseland, more than likely you are the most annoying person in your friend group. And if you don't think you have an annoying person in your friend group, think again. I don't know why I get this feeling, but if your favorite track is Wild Woods, more than likely you are an OG gamer that really loved Ocarina of Time. Like this kind of gives me Ocarina of Time vibes. Maybe a little bit of Breath of the Wild, but more of Ocarina. I'm not so sure why. If your favorite track is the Animal Crossing one, let me just say I respect you and all of your decisions because this map is actually perfect. Oh, and you're actually good at the game. What a surprise. If your favorite track is Moo Moo Meadows, I just want to say you deserve the best in life and you are probably the most perfect human being ever. Moo Moo Meadows will for always and ever be in my heart. The Wii had the best tracks, fight me. If your favorite track is Mario Circuit, honestly, either you're trying to hold on to the good old days of the Game Boy Advance, or you're just a very boring and bland person. If your favorite track is Cheap Cheap Beach, you definitely owned a Nintendo DS back in the day, and you are easily one of the best gamers I know. I know I don't know you personally, but I know spiritually that you are easily one of the best gamers, and I congratulate you on picking this beautiful map. If your favorite track is Toad's Turnpike, you're probably a really shitty driver in real life. People are trying to get away from traffic and you're just trying to pick this map that has it? Come on, man. If your favorite track is Dry Dry Desert, you are easily a person with class and you don't like the shitty Cheese Desert track, whatever it's called. Is it called Cheeseland? Is it really called Cheeseland? Yeah, this is way better than that. If your favorite track is Donut Plains 3, people might think it's a boring map and people might think that you're a boring person. And they're right. If your favorite track is Royal Raceway, honestly, I don't know what to say because you're probably really stuck up and no matter what I say, you're gonna ignore it. If your favorite track is DK Jungle, you are not maidenless. And I congratulate you. If your favorite track is Wario Stadium, unironically, you're one of the people that wanted Waluigi and Smash Ultimate. But don't worry, there's still hope on getting Waluigi Pinball on this game. If not, Nintendo literally hates Waluigi. Sherbert Land? You're gonna get on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and play Sherbert Land? If your favorite track is Music Park, more than likely you have an amazing sense of style and music choice. And let me know what music you listen to down in the comments because I'm trying to jam out to what you're jamming out to. If your favorite track is Yoshi Valley, you just want Yoshi to shine and prosper. But too bad that's never gonna happen because this is the best track you'll get for him. If your favorite track is Tick Tock Clock, honestly, you are a Chad. All I gotta say. And you were one of the people that hosted Mario Kart on the DS back in the day when no one else had the game so everyone else could play. You're an actual legend. If your favorite track is Piranha Plant Slide, you are easily one of the people that got super excited to see Piranha Plant get into Smash Ultimate rather than Waluigi or Crash. Honestly, either of the two could have replaced Plant really quick. If your favorite track is Grumble Volcano, unlike all the other OG cool tracks, this one is not in that category. This track brings nothing but torture and pain to those that play it. It might even be worse than the next map. Psych, you thought that I was gonna say that this is a shitty map? This is the best map on the whole game. Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road. If this is your favorite track, you are the ultimate gamer. No matter what you play, and no matter what difficulty it is, you play it with ease. If your favorite track is Wario's Goldmine from the Wii, you're still one of the people that play with motion controls, and honestly, I don't know how you do it. I would've quit the game a long time ago. There is no way Rainbow Road is your favorite track. Like, I genuinely don't believe people pick this and they're like, you know what, I'm gonna have a good time. And if you do, just let me know in the comments why, please, because this I can't even think of any. Wait, never mind, I just thought of something. You're mid, and you will never be liked by anybody. If your favorite track is Ice Ice Outpost, you give off the same feeling as a juicy fruit. Let me explain. You are very awesome and cool in the beginning, but after a few seconds, you're like, damn, 
it's not it's not good anymore if your favorite track is hyrule circuit you're definitely one of the people that think that skyward sword is the best zelda game known to man but you forget that breath of the wild exists breath of the wild is so good if your favorite track is neo bowser city you are a narcissist, and I stand by that. If your favorite track is Ribbon Road, more than likely you're a very casual gamer that doesn't really know the ins and out of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But let me tell you, this is not a good map, so don't pick it again. If your favorite track is Super Bell Subway, more than likely you're like me, one of the people that truly and dearly miss Coconut Mall, just because for some reason, this whole layout of this track reminds me of Coconut Mall. But we're getting that soon, so that won't be a problem anymore if your favorite track is big blue let me just say that you still miss f-zero and are one of the people that are actually upset that you got two maps from f-zero but no f-zero characters you know what cool captain falcon would have been nintendo missed on that shit huge let me know what tracks you're excited for down in the comments for the new mario kart 8 deluxe dlc for me personally coconut mall is the only thing i need so other than that, maybe I'm forgetting other tracks, but yeah, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you all later.